hear that? Don't worry guys, no speeding tickets will be given during this YouTube video. Have you heard of the police? Not the actual police, but police in regards to healing an acute injury. No? Well guess what, you're in luck. Let's dive into the police principle and healing that acute injury today. Hey Freehabbers, happy Tuesday. Welcome back to the channel. Dr. Lauren Line is here and today let's talk about police. And no, not the actual police. We're gonna talk about the police principle and how that applies to acute injuries. So what is an acute injury? An acute injury is an injury that has happened within the past six days, okay? During this time, super important to manage these injuries appropriately. I know I've had several acute injuries in the past, one of them being ankle sprains. If you have dealt with an ankle sprain, go ahead, like, subscribe, because today I wanna show you how we can apply the police principle to help to heal that ankle sprain in the most effective way. We know that ankle sprains actually account for about 60% of sports-related injuries. And as I mentioned, really important to manage these injuries from the get-go. So, let's talk about the police. Police stands for protect, okay, we wanna protect the injury. Optimal load, we'll get into that with the exercises. Ice, compression, and elevate. Now you may have heard of the RICE principle, right? Rest, ice, compression, elevate. So ice compressing and elevating is still important for about the first 48 to 72 hours. What we really wanna dig into today is the protect and the optimal load in regards to that ankle sprain injury. So let's get started. I wanna show you guys a few exercises to start with early on in the rehab process. And then once we get out of that acute injury stage, a few exercises that you can do moving forward. All right, prehaber. so let's dive into those exercises that you wanna do during that acute phase of healing, okay? That first zero to six days after you have that ankle sprain. Now again, as I mentioned, really important to protect that joint, but also load it in a way that's going to promote tissue healing and also get you back to doing what you wanna do quicker. So let's start with crossing that involved ankle over the other leg. From here, we're gonna do some isometric loading. Really, really good way to promote healthy blood flow in through the injured tissue, but also to encourage loading, optimal loading to speed up that recovery process. So let's start with hands gonna go on the top of your toes here. Now my ankle isn't gonna move. I'm gently gonna apply pressure about 50 to 75% of what I feel like I could do into my hand. I'm pushing my toes up into my hands. From here, you're gonna hold for about five to 10 seconds and relax. Okay, you're gonna shoot for about five to 10 of these, gently pushing the toes up into my hand. Again, my ankle's not going anywhere, I'm just pushing into my hands. We're loading, we're isometrically loading those tendons and ligaments as well as the muscles. From here, hand's gonna go on the ball of your foot, okay? Now you're gonna push down into your hands. Again, we're pushing for about five to 10 seconds at what feels comfortable, about, about 50 to 75% of what you could feel like you could do. And we're gonna do five to 10 of these. Then hand's gonna go on the big toe. Now we're pushing up into the hands, okay? Five to 10 seconds, same deal. Do what feels comfortable. Five to 10 there, and then hand's gonna go on the pinky toe. Now you're pushing down towards the ground, okay? Same idea, five to 10 seconds. Try about five to 10 of them. Okay, we really, again, we wanna load those tendons, those ligaments, those muscles in a way that's going to promote healthy blood flow, speed up the healing process, and get you back to doing what you wanna do, okay? Exercise number one for the acute phase. From here, we wanna try a few exercises in standing. So, be close to a chair, a counter, your bed, whatever you feel like you need, just to have some support if you need it. Then we're gonna gently rock our weight side to side, so my affected ankle will be my right one here. And again, we're putting about 50 to 75% of my body weight, that's what the chair is for, okay? Again, we're loading, we're loading, we're loading in a way that is comfortable and will help to promote tissue healing. And I encourage you to try about mm, 20 of these or so every hour, okay, to get some healthy blood flow in through the joint. And this should feel comfortable. A little discomfort we're okay with, but we don't want a lot. Okay, try 20. Let us know how you feel. If you get to them every hour, leave a comment. Let me know. I'll be very, very impressed. All right, let's dive into some exercises you can do once these exercises start to feel comfortable, and they'll help to get you back out on the field. All right, prehabbers, congrats. You guys made it through the acute phase of an injury, so those first zero to six days. Bravo, nice job. Let us know how those exercises went and drop a comment below. We'd love to see what you guys thought of them. So 
Again, once that pain starts to subside a little bit and we feel like we can progress to more advanced exercises, I'm going to show you two really, really good exercises to, again, load that ankle appropriately, help to promote tissue healing, and get you guys back to doing what you want to do. First one we're going to do, we're going to stand on that involved ankle. So again, that would be my right ankle. Then from here, we're going to touch the toe forward. Okay, I'm actually doing a heel tap here. Coming back up, going out to the side, back, and then we're gonna do a little bit of a curtsy lunge. Okay, so now we're working on full weight bearing through that involved ankle. We're also working on getting a little bit of ankle motion in through there as well, as well as balance. This is also a great exercise to do without your shoes on, okay, if you wanna challenge your balance a little bit more, make some of those foot intrinsic muscles work a little bit harder. And you're gonna shoot for about 10 rounds of these, okay, going nice and slow. If you need that chair or that counter space to help to keep your balance, go ahead, grab it, no big deal. And this is a good one to try two to three times a day. Really work on loading that ankle, promoting healthy tissue, blood flow, and tissue healing. Okay, next exercise. At home, if you guys have a kettlebell, you can grab that. Otherwise, dumbbell works great. Even a filled water bottle, I use that all the time for some of my balance stuff. It's a really, really good tool to use. Again, I'm gonna stand on that involved leg. From here, core is tight, glute is engaged, and I'm staying tall as I'm passing that kettlebell back and forth. So now we're really challenging my balance, hopefully your balance too to see if we can, again, load, load those muscles, load those tendons, load those ligaments, get your back to doing what you wanna do. If this isn't comfortable, you guys can always do what I call a kickstand. So you can stick that toe back of that non-involved ankle just to give you a little bit more support. But try it, this is a tough one, and you're gonna shoot for about 15 to 20 passes side to side, okay? Give those a go, let us know what you think. From here, you guys, remember, if you are dealing with an acute injury, use the police principle, okay? It can help to get you back to doing what you want to do quicker and with a better recovery. If you are interested in rehabbing that ankle sprain even further, check out our ankle prehab program here. And go ahead, like, subscribe, leave a comment, let us know what you think, and we plan to see you all next Tuesday.